welcome dear students today we are going to discuss from class 9 mathematics book chapter 8 quadrilaterals part 2 dear students in earlier session we discussed something about quadrilaterals what are they angle sum property of quadrilateral means the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree and we also discuss about some definitions of certain type of quadrilaterals such as trapezium parallelogram rectangle rhombus and square what is parallelogram if the opposite pairs uh, opposite sides of a quadrilateral are parallel then they are called that uh, uh, quadrilaterals are called parallelogram if one pair of opposite sides is parallel then the quadrilateral is called trapezium and what is rectangle in a parallelogram if one angle is 90 degree then that quadrilateral is called a rectangle so what is rhombus in a parallelogram if all the sides are equal then the quadrilateral is called a rhombus and square all sides are equal and all angles are equal means each angle is 90 degree such type of quadrilateral is called square then we have to this uh, note that what is distinguished between these two and what is similarity what, is, what are the dissimilarities between them note that a square a rectangle and rhombus are all parallelograms a square is a rectangle and also a rhombus but a rectangle or a rhombus is not a square all rectangles are not square all rhombus are not square but all squares are rectangle and as well as rhombus now see a parallelogram is a trapezium because what is trapezium one pair is parallel in parallelogram we uh, satisfy this condition so a parallelogram is a trapezium but a trapezium is not a parallelogram as only one pair of opposite sides is parallel in a trapezium and we require both pairs to be parallel in parallelogram so a trapezium is not a parallelogram now today we are going to discuss about some more properties of quadrilateral that is is one is based on diagonal and the other based on opposite sides let's start one of these uh, property by a theorem theorem 8.1 that is a diagonal of a parallelogram divides it into two congruent triangles whenever we draw a diagonal of a parallelogram we can see two triangles here abcd is a parallelogram and ac is one of its diagonal so we get here two triangles that is abc and triangle adc so here it is given that in abcd is a a uh, parallelogram and ac is one of its diagonal what to prove here we have to prove that the triangles so formed are congruent means triangle abc is congruent to triangle cda so how to prove it let's see here bc is parallel to ad and ac is the transversal so we have two alternate interior angles that is bca and dac these two are interior alternate angles or pair of alternate interior angles so they are equal also we have ab is parallel to cd and ac is transversal so angle bac is equal to angle 
A C B. This is also due to pair of alternate interior angles. Also, A B is parallel to C D and A C is transversal. So, angle B A C and A C D are interior alternate uh, angles or alternate interior angles. So, these two are also equal. Now, you see we have to prove the congruency. So, let us take the triangles ABC and ADC. In these two triangles, we have angle BCA equal to DAC and angle BAC is equal to angle ACD and AC is common to both of them. So, these two triangles are congruent by ASA means angle side angle congruency. So, we proved the theorem as it is required. As these two triangles are congruent, we can have some congruent uh, corresponding parts of the congruent triangles to be equal. So, if we consider those the things, let us see. In triangle uh, ABC and triangle CDA, as they are congruent, we have ang side AB and side CD to be equal and side AD is equal to side BC. So, these are the corresponding parts of congruent triangles. So, they are equal. Now, from this uh, statement, we conclude something. What do we conclude? The parallelogram is a quadrilateral in which opposite pairs are also equal. So, this can be stated in a theorem like this. In a parallelogram, parallelogram opposite sides are equal. If this is the statement, what is the converse of the statement? Converse means what is given in the theorem, in converse we have to prove that and what is proved in the, in the theorem, we have to, that is the given in the converse of it. So, here it is given parallelogram and proof was to sides are equal, but here in converse the sides will be equal given and we will prove that the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So, that states like this, if each pair of opposite sides of a quadrilateral is equal, then it is a parallelogram. Let us see how to prove it. So, for that we have to draw a figure, a figure is like this A B C D is a quadrilateral. So, we can write that A B C D is a quadrilateral in which A B is equal to C D and a D is equal to B C. And what to prove? We have to prove that A B C D is a parallelogram. Now, as in previous case, we need construction. Here also, we need a construction. Why? To prove it to be para parallel, we need a transversal of A B C D and B C A D. So, let us draw the diagonal A C. So, draw the diagonal A C. Now, for how to prove? In triangle A B C and triangle A D C, what are equal? The opposite sides that is side A B and C D are equal and A D and B C are equal. So, we can write A B is equal to C D as it is given and A D is equal to B C, it is also given and this A C is the common line or common side. Now, here three sides corresponding sides of two triangles are equal. So, triangle A B C is congruent to triangle C D A by side 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 congruency or S S S congruency. Now, you see as these two are congruent, so their corresponding parts must be equal. So, we can write that B A C 
equal to BAC is equal to ACD and BCA is equal to a DAC. BCA is equal to DAC. Now, these are the corresponding parts of congruent triangles. So, they are equal. Now, transversal AC intersects AB and CD and alternate interior angles so produced are BAC which is equal to ACD. As the alternate interior angles are equal, so AB is parallel to CD. Similarly, if the transversal AC intersects AD and BC and uh, alternate interior angles so produced are BCA and DAC, then BC is parallel to AD. So, in this quadrilateral, opposite sides AB and CD are parallel, also AD and BC are parallel. So, we can say that ABCD is a parallelogram. Dear students, to, today as we learned about the, uh, the opposite sides are uh, parallel and equal, from basing on this we will solve some problems. Let us see the problem. ABC is an isosceles triangle in which AB is equal to AC, AD bisects exterior angle PAC and CD is parallel to AB. Show that ABCD is a parallelogram. Let us see. See, this is triangle ABC in which AB is equal to AC and BA is produced towards P and PAC is the exterior angle AD. This is the bisector of angle PAC and CD is parallel to BA. So, this point is D. So, here we can say what is given in triangle ABC, AB is equal to AC, exterior angle PAC is bisected. by AD and CD is parallel to AB. This is given to prove that ABCD is a parallelogram. Now, how to prove it? Let us see as in triangle ABC, AB is equal to AC. This implies angle ABC is equal to angle ACB. Now, the exterior angle of triangle that is PAC angle PAC is equal to sum of the interior opposite angles ABC and ACB. Now, we know these two are equal. So, we can say this is equal to 2 ACB. This implies 
वन बै टू पी एस इज इक्वल टू ए सी बी वाट इज वन बै टू पी एस सी ए डी इज दि बैसेक्टर पी एस सी ऑफ एंगल पी एस सी सो हाफ पी एस सी इक्वल टू डी एस सी सो इन प्लेस ऑफ हाफ पी एस सी वी कैन रईट डी ए सी इज इक्वल टू ए सी बी नाउ नाउ यू सी ए सी इज द ट्रांसवर्सल ऑफ ए डी एंड बी सी एंड ऑल्टरनेट इंटीरियर एंगल्स angles which are alternate interior angles dac is equal to angle acb so this implies ad is parallel to bc we have also given that ab is parallel to cd Now in qual in the quadrilateral ABCD, AD is parallel to BC and AB is parallel to CD. So this implies ABCD is a parallelogram. So by using the property that the opposite sides. आर पारालाल दैट ऑफ ए पारालोग्राम वी प्रूव इट दैट ए बी सी डी इज ए पारालोग्राम लेट सी अनादर प्रॉब्लम हियर इन दिस फिगर ए बी सी डी इज ए पारालोग्राम टू पॉइंट्स पी एंड क्यू आर टेकन ऑन डायगोनाल बी डी सच दैट डी पी इज इक्वल टू बी क्यू शो दैट ए पी सी क्यू is a parallelogram now you see here a b c d is a parallelogram and b d is the diagonal we have point p and q in such a way that dp is equal to bq now we have to join ap pc qc and aq we have to show that ap qc is a parallelogram so here it is as given in parallelogram abcd bd is diagonal and p and q are points on bd such that dp is equal to bq now what to prove we have to show that a p c q is a parallelogram you see in triangle abq and pdc we have angles like pdc and abq are alternate interior angles 
as AB and CD are parallel and BD is the transversal. Again, AB is equal to CD as the opposite sides of a parallelogram and also BQ is DP. So, we can prove this to be congruent triangles. So, we can write BD is transversal of AB and CD, AB parallel CD we may write. This implies angle ABD is equal to angle BDC alternate interior angle. Now you see in triangle ABQ and triangle DPC we have AB is equal to CD. Why? Because they are opposite side of opposite side of parallelogram. Now you see and angle ABQ is equal to angle PDC as here it is proved. Again we have DP is equal to BQ, better we write BQ equal to DP. So, by these three conditions, we prove that triangle ABQ is congruent to triangle CDP. As these two are two triangles are congruent, this implies that AQ is equal to PC by corresponding parts of congruent triangles is equal. So, AQ, AQ is equal to PC. Now, in similar manner, we can prove that uh, AD, the transversal is BD, so BD is transversal of AD parallel BC. So, angle ADB is equal to angle DBC. Now, in triangle ADP and triangle CBQ, we have AD is equal to BC that is again opposite side of the parallelogram then DP is equal to BQ as it is given and the angle ADP, ADP is equal to angle QBC. So, this implies these three conditions states that triangle ADP 
is congruent to triangle C B Q, which again gives that F P is equal to Q C. Now you see in quadrilateral A P C Q we have A Q equal to P C and also we have A P equal to Q C as the opposite sides of the quadrilateral are equal so we can say that APQC is a parallelogram. Let us number it 1 and number this as 2. So, we can write here from 1 and 2 we can say A P C Q is a parallelogram. You see here we used the property that the opposite if the opposite sides of a quadrilateral are equal then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So, to prove this we used the uh, congruency theorem of triangle by proving the congruency we proved that the opposite sides of quadrilateral APCQ are equal. So, that the quadrilateral APCQ is a parallelogram. Dear students, today we discussed about the diagonal property one of the diagonal property that is diagonal divides the parallelogram in two congruent triangles and also we discussed about the opposite sides uh, property that is the opposite sides of parallelogram are equal. So, dear students this is time now. Thank you.